<laughs> I know he got really ripped for Tropic Thunder too. Like like his arms are real I, big. I almost don't yeah. think of Ben Stiller as a guy who can do that, but he is. Yeah, he was real fit in Tropic Thunder. I didn't think about that. And his little little tight armed fatigues. I did not like Tropic Thunder as much as you guys did. What? I had to power through that movie. I I worked to get to the end. What what didn't you like about it? That was hilarious. Where was the funny part? The whole thing. When Jack Black is tied to the tree and telling him he'll suck his dick for a little bit of heroin. Like, that was a funny part. When Ben Stiller's picking (laughs) up that That bat comes down and grabs the cocaine and flies away. (laughs) (laughs) No, no. (laughs) It's just James Gaffer. Yeah. Jack Black was hilarious. That guy who was gay and selling booty juice or booty sweat, whatever it was called. That was funny. Bust Um, a nut. (laughs) Yeah, bust a nut. (laughs) It was called. And fucking Robert A. Jr. is is Osiris Jones the whole time. (laughs) And he's like, everything our people's been through, we got to stick together, brother. And he's like, ah, people. <laughs> the whole thing. The, Tom Cruise, like, 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 like calling, you know, talking on the phone with the warlord. <laughs> I like that. Oh, yeah, and it didn't work out. No. Right? He's like, he's a, he's a back movie executive arguing with a warlord. But the whole premise was he was a movie I will executive. Fuck you up. He's like, I do this for a living. I'm very good at negotiating. Give me this. And it, you know, it doesn't work at all. I, and then Tom Cruise did that dance. Was that part of the movie or the credits or that was That's in the credits, yeah. Uh, I think, he, I think he, it was my favorite like part. He busts a little move when he's negotiating with hmm. uh Matthew McConaughey when like they want Matthew they they decide that the best route is not to rescue Ben Sir, to let him die and then collect the insurance for the movie flopping. And he's like bribing Matthew McConaughey. He's like he's like, We're talking private plane G six. And then and fucking Fred Arneson or who, whoever the guy is that plays Barry from SNL, he's like, oh. "Can you feel it, brother?" Yes. Like they're both like they're both like dancing and like like getting way too urban for such for <laughs> guys that white. It's great. I love that he's movie. He's got like those those forearm sleeves on to make his hands look all hairy and super and, hairy and, and, and the and big, big fat suit and the bald cap. The whole thing. It's great. I love every bit of that movie. I love the the production. You know, I I like when he's out there in the bush just by himself, Ben Stiller with a knife, and he thinks he's being attacked by a wild animal, and he fucking murders a panda bear. And the next time you see him, he skinned it and made a panda bear suit. (laughs) And he's wearing that panda suit. I don't know if you know this, but um, Osiris in the film, the character, says he stays in character until the DVD commentary is finished. I don't come out of character until the DVD commentary is done. So (laughs) does not yeah, um, does, what the hell is the guy's the name? Com- Who plays him? Robert Downey Jr. Yeah, yeah, Robert Downey Jr. does the DVD commentary as Osiris. He does. He yeah. does. He's doing the like the, 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 the comment. Everybody else is themselves. Ben Stiller has been Stiller now. He's like, yeah, this was a fun shoot, s- scene to shoot. You know, this is actually Cambodia or whatever. You know, he's, he, and and then Robert Downey Jr. is like, yeah, it was, it was hot as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, I'm blown away. You didn't like that movie. Like, I don't think I've ever met somebody who didn't think Tropic Thunder was funny. Like, did you just not like the the acting? Maybe I didn't give it my full attention when I watched it. It didn't suck me in. I'm a huge fan. I'm a huge yeah. fan. It's one of my favorites. I, I love that he's in blackface. I love all the like the the, the like movie trailers they show of like the movies that that Ben Stiller has been in before, and the movie that 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 like weird priest movie with Tobey Maguire and uh, and Robert Downey Jr. where they're like yeah, where they're gay priest, <laughs> gay priest in love. It, it's called like um like like Devil's Coven or Devil Devil's or, or hell, something like that. Devil's Paradise. It's something nutty. Yeah, I love that. What shit. would happen and, if they made that movie today? It wouldn't work. They wouldn't be able to do it. You know, d- oh, it was called Satan's Alley. Satan's Alley. Yeah, they <laughs> asked him that on uh, on the Rogan Experience. Mm-hmm. Joe Rogan's like, "Could you make that movie today?" He's asking Robert Downey Jr. He's like, "Well, you could make it, <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> I didn't find his answer well, satisfying. Like, I didn't. Like, I, I feel like I didn't get what he was. He's saying you could. Oh, you could make it. It just wouldn't go well. Eight. <laughs> there'd, be, that, there'd be a. It there'd be was a almost problem. a dodge to me. Like, could you make it today? Yeah, we have the technology. That's not what I'm asking, asshole. Answer what I'm asking. I I, I thought it was clear. He's saying no, no, we couldn't do that today. That would not okay. fly. You know, blackface has been. Has been. Uh, they so made the, a thing out of it. Now they don't understand that. And, and I, this view mostly through Jamie Lee. Amy Fox? Does he have a middle name? Anyway, yeah. he's like, it wasn't a disrespectful blackface. 
everyone was sort of okay with that blackface. They need to differentiate intent in blackface. You are fighting an uphill battle, my friend. <laughs> they are not going to come around to that. I, I, I I, look, if, if a black guy does white face, and they used to do this on In Living Color all the time. And they, they they just like mock white people in a really negative way. And I or love, white girls. Yeah, I, they did that. I don't love it. Um, yeah, white girls is one. Um, they do... What did they, I Mitchell. thought Chappelle's white face sketches were really funny. Yeah. Or, but, uh, he, <clears throat> I mean, it's a sketch show, so it's hit and miss. There were at least a couple funny ones where he did it. We watched this like a few years ago. We watched this and joked about it, I think. But this is the behind the scenes. And what it is, it's, it's narrated by the guy who plays the director of the movie, uh, Tro Tropic Thunder, like the character. And it's behind the scenes with Sergeant Lincoln Osiris. Because it's it's Robert Downey Jr. in character, living with his family and staying in character and having like weird breakdowns. I and remember like, we, watching. We watched this. Dude, I yes. hated this so much. I think it's it tainted the movie for me. I find this so opposite of funny. Oh, Is it just so me? Yeah, no, I, I thought this video was fun. I mean, I think it has been a couple of years since we watched it, but I recall watching this on the show and it made me laugh. He laughed my ass off. Well, this was supposed to like be his sons or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. at one point, he has them all like like zip tied up. He's got one of them in the bathtub, and he's talking about his chakra line or something. He's just talking crazy, like like super crazy, like 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 not even a in a scary kind of way. It's it's good stuff. I love it. I love Robert Downey Jr. I find, I think he's so talented. I I love this shit. I, I 